Hi there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com here with the follow-up, the wrap-up video for the playing on a budget this week at Gathering Magic. This is just, I'm going to try to do this every week, uh, play the fifth match on my channel. This is with a, another deck with Godfrey's Gift, a budget deck with all cards that are not rotating. Um, and so far it's 3-1, so that's a good sign for God Pharaoh's gift decks. Um, this is a tough keep with, if we, if we hit a, we have, I guess we have plays for quite a while. If we hit a, another land for strategic planning, then we are golden because then we'll hopefully find it's a land and then we have the gate to the afterlife. I think this is just on the verge of keepable. Uh, again, I probably wouldn't keep this if I didn't have... Uh, three one drops in my hand, so we'll just lead off with the hope of Garriper here. I don't care about the minister quite yet. This could slow down our opponent. The cool thing about hope of Garriper is it's very easy to sacrifice with Gates Afterlife. We do have two of them, but who knows? Maybe this wasn't a key. But uh, odds are, in two turns, we should draw a land, and then if we do, we're in great shape with the strategic planning. And we do hit the land, so kind of luck my way out of this and it, we do want to get to the afterlife out as quickly as possible so i'm just gonna use the strategic planning right now and try to hit that other land because hitting those land drops is very very key and we miss them all so i think i'm just going to take another strategic planning and we do get two in the graveyard so that's actually good to uh get our graveyard going for the gate to the afterlife and not going to sack this yet. Um, if my opponent wants to Magnus Spray the Hope of Garriper, then so be it. You do want to get your opponent down to as, as low life as possible with this deck being able to combo off quite easily. If they're in an increment of 4, like 16-12, uh, 16-12-8 is a good life total because then you can combo off with the uh, God Pharaoh's Gift and the um the marionette master so good thing about the hope of gear is you can set things up so we can go for another strategic planning which this one should find us a land i mean we we luck sacked and found our our land anyway so we didn't need to hit one uh per se with the strategic plan and we could hit one here so i will sack the hope of gear this turn unless my opponent just decides to, okay that's fine it, it did its job I and mean, we were gonna sack it anyway so so hopefully we hit a land. Uh, it's just a walking ballista. We'll strategic planning again. This time hopefully hit a land. We do hit a land. We'll take the hub, I think. And let's put out another one. Don't need the, the Minister of Inquiries quite yet. We're probably playing a, a Grixis control list. So this deck is okay. The problem is Grixis is a little bit harder for us because the, they do have access to um like dispossess in the sideboard if they're running it and so sometimes that can just be really really powerful so again i don't necessarily like to uh just cast the gate to the afterlife into an open board um i want to use the hope of gary and probably sacrifice it we're getting close anyway i mean the braids are a thing don't really want to leave open mana sometimes with a braid. Maybe I do just cast like a trophy mage. Champion of Witch is good here. We'll go ahead and attack in with the Hope of Garriper. In all honesty, I could just cast a trophy mage into my opponent's. board do have to worry about a braid oh my opponent's just going to choose to use an abrade right now that is interesting i think does that mean another abrade is in my opponent's hand i think we want to go champion i want to hit land drops We miss the land drops. I think at this point we can just get rid of a trophy mage and a minister of inquiries or strategic planning. Strategic planning again lets us try to hit those land drops. The Glinton S. Crane could be something I can get rid of because next turn we go strategic and minister of inquiries. 
Yeah, I think that's the right route to go. I'm glad to see that a braid gone, but I'm all, I'm not glad to miss that land drop. But I mean, we've we've dug for quite a while. Only one land in the graveyard. We have one, two, three, four, five cards, five creatures. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. We have we have everything we need for. the gate to the afterlife so we just have to play around like the gear hulk strategy glimmer is probably going to come down here sunken hollow is the one card that is rotating because it's just a filler for the drowned catacombs that's going to come out okay so here uh we'll put out the sunken hollow and We'll strategic planning to find another land, see if it gets countered. There's a God Pharaoh's gift in the graveyard. We'll, we'll take the Rivulet. And then we'll cast a Ministry of Inquiries. And I'm sure my opponent's going to glimmer here. Funny thing is, like, we are capable of milling out our opponent in Torrential Gear Hole because they draw a ton of cards. Just all depends on what version. Um, they run. But the Glimmer comes down. Because, right, look, my opponents are going to be down uh, after this to, f uh, what, 47 cards? And sometimes that's an easier life tool to get rid of than, I mean, with the, the Rivulet. We're not running a lot of deserts is the problem. Just four of the, the Ipni Rivulets. It's going to go for a Magma Spray. All right. So, I still don't want to run anything into the, like, because my opponent does have the uh, counterspell mana up. It's it's one of those tough, tough plays. So, I think, again, we just attack in. Rather than try to mill ourselves. There's not a lot we do with our graveyard at this point. We have what we need in the graveyard. I could try to find some Marionette Masters. I'd rather do the damage, though. And this should be a tough card for my opponent to deal with. It's probably going to eat a removal spell. See if another Glimmer comes down here. So a Magma Spray does try to get hit the Ballista, which is good. It does the damage. So double ma Magma Spray, Harness Lightning, and a Braid. This is going to be a version that tries to kill the uh, creatures, which is good. Like, we don't care about any of these. A Braid is tough because a Braid just kills our combo. So now he's in, in Torrential Gear Hulk range. There's a Metalwork Colossus. Um, at this point, I still think I just attack in with the Minister of Inquiries. And we do another Walking Blista. Here comes the Torrential Gear Hulk for a Glimmer, I assume. I'm just going to think twice of it. That's going to juggle the lands over and over.
All right, so decided not to cast anything there. Interesting play. Wants to kill off my walking ballista. Is that the route my opponent's going to go? Do another sunken hollow. I guess that's that. I really do want to cast that gate. But as long as my opponent's not doing anything, I've managed to spend into my ballista. I think that's fine. So here comes the gear hulk. Let's see where my opponent decides to go. But that's one to braid out of the way. I'm assuming my opponent should go Glimmer here. The Harness Lightning is kind of weird. So what I'm going to do... Is just put a counter because my opponent's already shown me that they're just using two, right? No. Hasn't done the energy yet. So my opponent would have to say they're using three here. Am I correct? How many did my opponent have? Yeah, yeah they haven't added the three yet. Okay. Four cards in my opponent's hand. There could be another Trenchal Gear Hulk waiting. I think we have to go for the Gate to the Afterlife here, which is tricky. Because now we're going to draw our lands. We have tons of lands left. Uh, lands are getting us closer to... where we need to be. Well, we do have to worry about another braid. And see, the disallow can can copy. Still, there's another braid. I think we just have to play defensively. So if my, my opponent just try, tries to kill the gate to the afterlife, that's when we crack it. All right, so we will block here with the Minister of Inquiries. And let's mill ourselves. We can hit champions here. Nope, another strategic planning. That's no good. But we do to get a loot this Metalwork Colossus. And there's, there's another gate to the afterlife. So we have some, some padding here. So I will end of turn do this if my opponent wants to braid or disallow. We've got another one. And we'll get this from our library because we do have another one. So he's going to disallow it. Okay, awesome. There's a crane.
A break could still happen. Just going to go for a glimmer here. Unfortunately, though, we don't have the combo yet. Not even close to the combo. Because uh, we don't have a Marionette Master in our entire hand. So I'm going to try to hit a Metalwork Colossus with the Glint Nest Crane. I don't think there's anything else we can do with this. At least we get those lands on the bottom. And I think we're going to bring back... We could bring back our Hope of Garriper and then sack it. Or we could bring back just like a Glint Nest Crane because we don't have... A Trophy Mage could go get, get us another Gate to the Afterlife, which actually might be the better play. Because it's still getting in for four. Um, yeah, we just don't have a lot of good options here. I think Trophy Mage is the right one, because we have Gate, Gate, and one more Gate. So we should, should, should still have one more Gate. So, so we have one, two, three. Let's go ahead and pop our graveyard out so we can see this stupid thing. Uh, that doesn't really help that much, but at least we can see more. So one, two, three. So we have a Gate still. So I'm going to go ahead and get a Trophy Mage. Because I'm sure this God Pharaoh's Gift is going to get abraded. Yeah, that's kind of kind of terrible. That's the best we can go for, but... This puts our opponent under a lot of pressure. Thins out our deck. But, I mean, that would have just been a win if we would have had. Maybe I should have been milling myself more with the Ministry. But we're getting it for damage, which now is relevant. So my opponent has to abrade the God Pharaoh's Gift. Cannot attack him with the Trenchal Gear Hulk. Probably needs to leave up another Trenchal Gear Hulk, which leaves us another Gate to the Afterlife. So we have a lot of outs here. And just hard casting a Okay, so another Trenchal Gear Hulk, this is gonna braid the God Pharaoh's gift. And so my opponent needs like another braid in hand. We still have a God Pharaoh's Gift in our library, too. Jeez. I think I'll get this one to the graveyard, because hard casting it's not that bad from our... Alrighty. Let's see what we can pull off. Still haven't hit a Marionette Master. I think they don't exist. I can try to mill myself for the Marionette Master. So let's go Island. And we'll run out another uh, gate and crack it. And this can just go get us a, um, a hope of Garriper, or we'll go Glint Nest. So my opponent needs a Harness Lightning in hand. And we miss it all. There's our Marionette Masters. And there's a Harness Lightning, but... It takes a lot of resources. My opponent goes down to a 2. My opponent still can't attack in reasonably. And we do have the Hope of Garriper, which puts him at lethal next turn. And still can't quite. Well, we have no way to sacrifice the Marionette Master, but I mean, I mean, uh, the 
Metalwork Colossus. As soon as we do get a Marionette Master, though, it's just game. And we've gone through so many of our, our cards to get there. I can block. Trophy Mage can block here if I need to. My opponent doesn't have the greatest amount of cards in hand. Just uh, just the four. Has burned uh, two Glimmers. Has to use an Abrade here to kill the God Pharaoh's Gift. We still haven't... We, the, two of our... Only one champion has been found this game. We'll take the damage here. The thing is, my opponent needs to take care of both the Hope of Gearper and the Glint Nest. Looks like a Sweltering Sun's going to come down here. Man, maybe I should have attacked. So, man, too bad there's not another artifact. I could get it back. Those two die. However, I still get back another Glint Nest Crane. And it doesn't matter. We'll wait till a second main phase for the, the God Pharaoh's Gift to for the Marion Master because it's just lethal with the uh, Metalwork Colossus. Oh, no, we need a... Yes, it's lethal. Yes, it's lethal. I just put it on tokens. Uh, so let's go to attack phase. I can actually get back a um, walking ballista too, but I think that we'll go with Glint Nest. I'm sure he's, he's got like a harness lightning. Just disallow on the trigger. And it's okay because we have... Marionette Master. Is there an Essence Scatter? Oh, are you kidding me? Well, my opponent lives with an Essence Scatter. One card in hand, though. I think I need to block one of these just in case. Is there something you can do two damage in his entire deck? Or one damage? Okay. He just realized that it's over no matter what. As he's not going to have the blocker. So the God Pharaoh's Gift sticking does win. Um, this is where we can bring in our own Dispossess. And I, I, I actually do like to bring in Lost Legacy so you can name a Braid. Uh, negates and Dispels. This is the match for these. We don't need the Expertises or the Aethers for Harvesters. Metalwork Colossus ends up being a kind of awkward card in here. I usually cut down to a one of. And we do want all the... The, the God's Heroes Gift usually can get cut down. I never liked the three. I only like the two. This is when, of course, you can't uh, switch your deck as you... Um, as you progress through the tournament, once you're in a league. The Hope of Garapers are great. Minister of Inquiries are actually end up being one of the weaker cards. Because your opponent's going to do a good job of killing your stuff. So I, I typically like to take out the Minister, Minister of Inquiries in this match. And typically it's a Trophy Mage. And usually two Trophy Mages I take out. Um, a Glint Nest. Glint Nest end up being a little bit better than Trophy Mages. But you don't want to cut any artifacts. And yeah, I think it is Trophy Mage. So still want the Shooting Sh Sh Plane is also sometimes one that I cut. Because you don't want to, yeah, actually it's strategic plannings. These usually have to come out because you never want to go below the 25 creature count. So we'll keep in the inquiries and, and whatnot. So This could also be a, a deck where you just completely cut the Metalwork Colossus, but I do like Metalwork Colossus. I like having that out. Um... This is another risky hand, but of course you keep a Dispossess and a Lost Legacy hand. Dis uh, Dispels will be very good too. Because we'll just... This isn't my turn, right? Okay, good. I always hit Empty Joe when the... Sometimes you like F6 the very first turn and the opponent goes uh, draw instead of play. Alright, so we need to land in two turns. And we do have action with the Dispels, which I, I'll use for, like, Glimmers. 
but so far not so good. We want another blue source or another black source. And there it is. So we can actually just throw it out. Tapped. It doesn't actually matter. Does it? No. We'll throw the swamp out. There's no other card we'd want to throw. We have two lands, two or more basic lands. Yep, perfect. And we go Champion of Wits next turn. And this Dispossess is going to really, really hurt if I can get it to stick. And with one more land, we should be able to do so. There's a Walking Ballista. Um, I will cast it for one. That was a perfect draw, actually, because we don't want to cast anything quite yet. If he, want to, if he wants to waste an Essence Scatter, so be it. Absolutely, uh, I will take that. And what I really hope is, like, my opponent could just hard cast a Glimmer here. That would be the perfect thing. Or another card. We do want to hit one more card because then we have the Dispel for, or one more land we have the Dispel for. That's perfect. I think that this is pretty much a wrap because we'll go Dispossess, naming Trenchal Gearhulk. My opponent will try to counter this, but we'll dispel it. And so there we go. We get rid of a Disallow and uh, Trenchal Gearhulks. And only playing three, huh? So Dragmaster Outcast is something I do need to worry about. Essence Scatter, Supreme Will Dispel in hand. So Scarab God is also another thing we need to get rid of. So Lost Legacy will name Scarab God, most likely. I think that's the, the correct play. Um, and then my opponent really has no... I could go Dragon Master Outcast. I could also just get rid of all of the... No, the Glimmers I think would be weak here. We could hit a Supreme Will with a Lost... No, no, I don't want to name stuff in the hand because they draw cards, if that's the case. Dragon Master Outcast could get out of control, but I, we have so many, like... that. It's such a late card. So we'll get rid of the Trenchal Gearhulks. Um, and only one Magma Spray left, two Abrades, two Harness Lightnings. Sensor, 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 Disallow. Okay, that's going to really hurt my opponent, though. So I think my opponent needs a hard cast of Supreme Will. Because we do know there's Supreme Will and Sensor. But there's the Dragon Master Outcast. Decides not to cast it. So we can run out a Lost Legacy. And my opponent can dispel the hub. Ooh. Nah, I'll just let Supreme Will happen. Yep, that's fine. We'll cast the Ministry of Inquiries. And that puts a little bit of pressure. My opponent still does have the Essence Scatter in hand. Uh, we can dis we can dispel that if we want to. Start the beats. So I think I would rather crane here. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about the crane. Crane's kind of a weak link. Now we put it, we'll throw out the Dragon Master Outcast. We're under a little bit of a clock with that. But we're progressing nicely. Get a hub. Go ahead and Champion of Wits here. Draw two, discard two. This is actually a weird draw two, discard two. 
Uh, we're going to get rid of Mary Master and God Pharaoh's Gift. We're so close to just hard casting this, but I think these are still the better ones to get rid of. So we need to stop him from digging. So uh, Dispel and Negate do need to counter the Glimmers. And I'm okay with just these two cards. They'll eventually beat down my opponent. There's another island. I could actually keep that in hand. I do like to have the six mana though. So we'll play one more. Five cards in hand. Scarab God is really rough. Just going to cycle a sensor, sure. We knew that was in hand. We still have an Essence Scatter, I believe. Uh-oh. Has the mana. I'm getting close to that land. So we do need to speed things up here. Let's not hit a land. I think I'll keep that land in hand. And definitely counter whatever this is. There is the there's the sixth land. Womp womp. And it's just six, right? Yeah, so Drag Mr. Outcast is online. And that is going to be rough. As we miss, 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 miss on our... And I put it, did draw into a Scarab God? Oh. Well, that sucks. We can still pull out of this. There's a lot of things we can draw. I should have been milling myself, I think. We only have three creatures in the graveyard. And it might just get beat down by the, the Dragmaster Outcasts. Jeez. I just can't win with these. My opponent can start putting my own creatures into the graveyard, too. And so it's, it's weird to mill myself here. But we'll keep these stupid lands in hand. That's the name of this game, though. Unfortunately, that's... We had everything we needed. Possibly shouldn't have just killed the Marionette Master and the God Pharaoh's Gift, but I didn't think I was going to draw four lands in a row, so. And now the dragons start happening. I think I will play a land, though. I hate to give my opponent stuff to take. My opponent should take a Marionette Master. That's rough, too. That's really rough. Scarab God is something you actually can add to this list. In fact, it should go in the sideboard. I have to play the next game pretty quickly. Man, we ripped out the Torrential Gear Hulks. We ripped out... Maybe I should have countered the last... Well, the thing is, I knew we had a Dragmaster Outcast in hand, and there's no way I could... If I would have countered the... the uh, and let the Lost Legacy hit, and then named Scarab God, but we, we, he didn't have it in hand. The odds of him drawing it weren't that great. Only two of them. I don't know. I still think I, I, I did the right play of just le leaving that. Because the, the Dragmaster Outcast still can easily just win the game. But Scarab God is probably going to be really rough here by getting the Marionette Master. But who knows? Who knows?
And there's one of my win cons. And that's that's huge. Get servos I can't really block. That's one of my win cons. I don't really have a lot of cards. My opponent is out of energy. But... Yeah, see, the Dragon Master Outcast also isn't that great of a, a threat because of the walking ballistas we could have... It's just the land flood that got us. Okay, my opponent decided to go with Marionette Masters, which I think was a mistake. Oh, come on! And draws the canyon slow. All right. Okay. Hopefully my opponent's not very smart and attacks in. All right, you're giving me an out, buddy. I appreciate it. Because it puts a, a card in my graveyard. Maybe my opponent wants that in my graveyard. And allows me to really go through my deck. And we miss everything still. That's gross. We do get a, a lousy land out of the way. Gate to the afterlife. Do we have it? I don't think we do. So maybe I should have draw, uh, done the other one. So here's a YOLO. And we got it. Perfect. So let's get it from our library. Nope, let's get it from our graveyard. Because we can hard cast the other one. Walking Ballista doesn't have a target. Trophy Mage can go get another one. Champion of Witch, which draws us a ton of cards. Other than my opponent can just keep using the Scarab God. I think we need to go for Champion of, Champion of Wits. Trophy Mages could get us... Yeah, we could go for the other... Walking Blitz can also take care of its champion. <laughs> now that is ridiculous. Yeah, possibly it was Trophy Mage. But I could just die here to begin with. My opponent's going to tap again. This puts me in an awkward position with the dragons coming out. I need a combo next turn, which is actually very, very feasible. So what my opponent should take is... I don't care what my opponent takes actually here. I need to mill myself again, and I need to find the Marionette Master combo, and I don't have another artifact for it. Yeah, that's rough. That's really rough. So what do I need to draw into? I need to draw another Gate to the Afterlife, and there's one in, only one in the graveyard. So I do have some rivulets to... Help find the, the combo. There's a lot of things I can draw into. A glint nest crane. That's probably one I didn't care about.
The opponent should be attacking with everything. And we'll block the Marionette Master. And take 10, go to 16. And we'll have one turn to find what we need. Here goes nothing. We need a Marionette Master. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. So, there's one of our YOLOs. I did not find a Marionette Master. There's a Champion Witch we can bring back from the graveyard. But that takes seven mana to do so. I think that's still better. Yeah, that takes everything. We need we need some huge plays here. Found it. We found it. Perfect. Discard and just start discard a land. We even have the Dispel. Ha! There we go. That's game. We pulled it off. Alrighty. I, this deck is still solid. Very solid. You can see it went 4-1 and one with the budget deck. I think Scarab God does want to be in here, for sure. Wow. Um, <laughs> but you can see that it can get hit out with the braids, and it also can get hit out with... Um, dispossess. But all in all, it's a very solid deck. The combo still works without the Westville Abbey. It, uh, you can go watch the playing on a budget, but I believe we beat... The only loss we had was the Jess, the Jess guy Godfarrel's Gift, and that was just due to bad draws. So, I mean, it was a 2-1. You can see, does it... Let's look at the league here. Leagues you've played in? How do I look at this stupid thing? Oh. It's, it, it disappeared. Anyway, um, and then I, I can't remember the other matches that I beat that they were like Team or Energy, I think was one of them. I'll have to go back and look at playing on a budget. But yeah, a 4-1 is not shabby with a deck like that, especially when the only uh, match you lose is a, a mirror. So it's the Marionette Master is still a very, very solid card. Anyway, well, maybe we'll play some more on... I want to get live streaming back um, going on. I am obsessed with God Vero's Gift. I want to find the perfect way to build it. And I, I do like Black Blue. I think it's the right route to go. Currently, um, the Grixis version is a little bit better because Insolent Neonate is that good in the deck. It's the whole reason to running red. Uh, but with that rotating and you have to find um, a replacement, there wasn't a lot of good looting cards, unfortunately, that came out of Ixalan. It was actually very, very... Uh, I was hoping there was like a good Explore card. There actually is a decent one that we could put in here because Explore either puts a land in your hand or puts up something in your graveyard, which I think is exactly what the deck wants. But uh, I guess we can just go look at it really quickly here. So let's just look at the deck, the God Pharaoh's Gift deck. And so you can see there, there is really we don't need anything. Is the is is the good part? Like, there's not a card that we absolutely... The only card I, I think is kind of a weak link is the Minister of Inquiries a lot of times. Uh, because you do do a good job of filling up your own graveyard, especially if your opponent wants to uh, kill your creatures for you. So very, very... Uh, a, a 
game that happens a lot is you go like Hope of Garper into Clinton as Crane and into Champion of Wits and say, okay, either kill my creatures or I'll keep attacking you. And a lot of times that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, Minister is probably needed. I guess you could replace Strategic Planning with another creature. The more, the merrier, but it needs to do something. It needs to put a lot of cards into your graveyard. And Strategic Planning does two. So if there was something that had a decent explorer, unfortunately, I just... Or a loot. I didn't really see anything from Ixalan. If you did see a card that I'm missing, either an Artifact Black or even Red would be something we could put in here. But Artifact Black or Blue, especially especially Blue, uh, that, that loots or puts something in your graveyard, it's on a creature, that would be the ideal uh, route to go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, deck. This has been Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. We'll have the links in the annotations as well as the description for the Playing on a Budget. Thanks for watching.